In other news, Israel is trying to block a Palestinian move to seek recognition of statehood at the U.N. General Assembly in September. Israel's foreign minister has ordered its ambassadors to fuel the media hype against Palestinian statehood. Meanwhile, Israeli Premier Benjamin Netanyahu and nine of his ministers have left for Italy. Their main goal is expected to be getting world leaders to oppose Palestinian statehood and a U.N. membership. Italy, Germany, and the United States have already voiced their opposition to the plan. The U.S. has said that it will veto any U.N. vote on the recognition of Palestinian statehood. Palestinians seek U.N. recognition of an independent state made up of the occupied West Bank, Gaza, and East Jerusalem, al -Ghotz. For more on the story, we're joined by Eugene Michael Jones through Skype, who's the editor of Culture Wars magazine from Indiana. Uh, Mr. Jones, thank you for joining us on World News. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu is to meet with Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi to focus on Israel's efforts to get world leaders to reject Palestine's plan to seek a UN recognition and membership in September. Is that correct? Yes, yes. Meet, meeting with him soon, yes, that's right. Okay, let me ask you this. Why won't Netanyahu, and pretty much a simple, let the Palestinians back on their own land that they were forced out of? Well, he's trying to, he's trying to get uh, back in front, uh, in charge again, of the situation in, in Palestine, which changed after all of the revolutions uh, in the Middle East. The biggest change was, of course, the uh, Hamas Fatah unity government. Now, there are all these variables that are happening right now. Now there's uh, a snag in the unity government. Apparently, uh, Hamas has rejected uh, Fatah's uh, uh, suggestion for the prime minister. That's going to weaken the Palestinian case. So he's trying to get support uh, to defeat uh, that unity government and uh, statehood in the fall. It's all going to depend on all of these variables that are all taking place uh, right now. Berlusconi is not a, a, a popular leader in Italy. Uh, he is in the same situation that the United States Congress is in, except I think he's more vulnerable because the Italian people are less happy with uh, his government and his connection with Israel. There are all of these governments that, uh, in Europe that are facing popular rejection if they don't go along uh, with uh, what looks like a solution to the Palestinian-Israeli uh, problem. So uh, Netanyahu can put pressure on the leaders, but then the leaders have to answer to their own people. And I think there's, there's weakness there right now. This is the, the gist of what the retiring Secretary of Defense Gates said. He said these people are not supporting the attack on Libya. I think that's an indication of the weakness that, that uh, NATO has at this moment, and that's why Netanyahu is trying to get the leaders on board beforehand. Well, Dr. Jones, how is uh, Netanyahu going to be able to get the U.N. Um, to get the recognition, prevent the recognition for Palestine? Uh, bribery. This is, the, this is the way Jewish leaders have always worked in the past. They bribe uh, the prince. They bribe the leaders. And so what you saw in America, after uh, uh, President Obama gave his speech about 67 borders, Netanyahu was there a day later. Uh, on that uh, next day, he addressed the Congress of the United States of America. And during that address, there were people sta situated throughout the Congress who were going to jump up and give a standing ovation whenever he said, at certain points during his speech, IPAC, the uh, Israel lobby in America, informed the congressman that if they were not enthusiastic in their support of Benjamin Netanyahu's speech, that they would get no campaign contributions. That's known as bribery. Okay, you bribe the official. But if the people recognize this, then they vote the people out. So that's, that's, the, that's the dynamic that's going uh, on. Same thing across Europe and in America. It's the same dynamic. They use bribery to get the leaders, but then the leaders lose their credibility when they realize they're being bribed, and so the people vote them out. Well, Dr. Jones, thank you for sharing your thoughts. Um, that was Dr. Eugene Michael Jones joining us through Skype, who's editor of Culture Wars magazine in Indiana.